Photoshop doesn't come with a cross tool, but you can create one very easily as a vector design. And you can also make many variants of the cross shape, such as this design, or this. Go to the view menu, show and grid. Really makes it a lot easier to create a cross shape. Also snap and snap to grid. Go to the pen tool, select that in the tools panel, go with shape and then use the grid to create your cross design. So just click and click again and then just drag across maybe four or five. But I'm going to go with three of this grid divisions. Click there, click again and now make the obviously the cross. Generally it's longer at the bottom so just go there, just click down the bottom and again click there. Go back to the middle or close to the middle and again make sense it's even so you go for three if you've gone for two go obviously go for two and just click again click at the center click top and then click again and that's it it's all close so once you've done that you've got your initial basic cross shape now another way of doing it you could go here and use the rectangle tool and create two rectangles and apply those but once you've got this, what you can also do is you can store it. Because you might think, oh, you know what? I don't want to create it each and every time. Obviously, it's not very complex design. But you can go to Edit and down to Define Custom Shape. So Define Custom Shape and you can store it. So click OK. Or what you can also do is obviously you can change the color. So you can change the color. So you might go for, say, pink or green, etc. You can also apply effects. Simply go to the Layers panel. You can find that in the window menu and you can go down to effects and then just add a bevel, etc. But what you can also do is you can add additional paths to this. And I'm going to go for a circle. So I'm just going to use circle, the ellipse tool. And what I could do, I could add it directly. So I could just simply hold down the shift. And as you do that, you can see a plus pair that will add it to that design. Personally, I prefer just to create it separate and then combine. Click the document and drag and release. Now once you've done that you can then drag this over here and just position it. You can see as you do that you'll get these lines that indicate that you've got it right exactly where you want it along there, along that central line, along that central line and so on. Now you don't have to because you could put it above, you could add it here or here. Perfectly reasonable as well. You could add anything to this. So again you've got here you've got two. Well you can drag over both those or simply select them in the layers panel and now you can see you've got this design you can go to layer and combine shapes and unite shapes and it's all combined and you can see now it's one single shape exactly the same as before you can go to edit and down to define custom shape and you can store it away but also what you can do you can go here just select the direct selection tool with that selected, just drag over all of it and go up here. Click and merge shape components. At that point, you won't be able to manipulate that circle or the cross as a path. But I'm just going to go for merge shape components so you can't move it anymore. It's, it's fixed. But what you can do is you can now manipulate these points using direct selection tool. So direct selection tool, so deselect it all. And then maybe select, just drag over, just simply just drag and that point selected. Well, you can manipulate that. But also what you can do is you can actually select more than one. So let's just select another one. Hold down the shift key. So shift key on the keyboard. So now two are selected. And I'm going to select this one. And again, still shift held down all the way around. So each and every one. And you can see now I've got all those selected. Well, what I can do now, I can go over here to edit and transform points or free transform. I'm just going to go with transform points, but you can go with the other one. And you could go for scale. So scale. And at this point, you can resize it here. So just drag up there. You can do that, of course. But you can also go up here along the control bar. So along the control bar, you can see now you've got 100%. Now you can push it too far. It will end up not looking particularly like a cross. But you can go for 200, say 200. Doesn't look particularly like a cross at all. But you can create 
even more unique shapes. Maybe 200 is a bit extreme, maybe just reduce it down. So instead, go for 40. So that's a bit more cross-like shape. And of course, once you're happy with that, you can press turn, so, or click there. Also, what you can do, I'm just gonna undo that. I've still got them selected. You can also rotate them. So edit and transform points and rotate this time. So that, now you can just rotate here. So you drag that around. So you can create some very interesting like twirl designs very quickly. But you can also just do it here. So just go for say 45, just enter the value. Maybe a bit extreme, maybe 10. And you can create slightly altered design that way. And again, at any point, once you press turn, you can think, oh, I want to save it. So edit and down to define custom shape. And you can see now you've got that shape saved as well. You stored it away for future use. Now, if you want to, you can now select, say, the outer one. So let's just undo. So I can drag over those again with the make certain it's the direct selection tool. Select those. Hold down the shift again. Drag over those ones. Drag over those and drag over those. So all of those points have been selected. And then exact same as before, edit and transform points. Now you could use again, just try it and you can see the result of that. So that does a, obviously a rotation. But you can also go for scale and this time enter, again, maybe 200 and then press return. All kinds of shapes can be created. And again, at each point, you can always go down here, define custom shape and store it away. But you can, of course, manipulate them individually. So if you want to, just simply select that one and then distort it and just drag it in to the center. Maybe go like that, but it's up to you. You can create all kinds of far more organic looking the shapes. But also what you can do is you can go here, add anchor point tool. So you can always, if you want to, add additional points and you can then do exactly the same transformations to manipulate it in even more kinds of ways. You will create more curved designs using that approach. If you want to, you can also turn this into a selection. Simply go over here with the path selected, go here and you've got a little and just click. And you've got a selection. With that selection, you can then fill it with something else. Fill it with images, fill it with gradients. So just go to the gradient and apply a gradient. You can also apply filters. So if you want, just go to select and reselect. Because at this point, you'll notice there's no selection. So reselect, you've got your selection again. Now go to filter and go for render and maybe clouds. Convert to smart object, and now you've got your cloud effect added to your shape.